Hi everyone and welcome to Teaching Literacy. Welcome to the TP and my name is Rachel Couchy and I am your unit coordinator. Um, lovely to meet you all. Within my weekly um, announcements, we will have important information in there like assessment dates and things that you need to remember and reminders. But as well as focusing on reminders, we'd also like to focus on the content and making some stronger connections between the reading materials, um, the weekly readings and making connections back to your assessments just to help you to see where everything fits in together but also to help you gain, um, gain a stronger understanding of the content itself. So look out for that in the, assess, um, the unit wide announcements each week. So starting with week one our focus is on talking about achieving a balanced program. So, um, the overall module looks at an overview of the Australian curriculum, which I'm going to talk about in just a second. But we also have um, a reading from our e-text, which is literacy, reading, writing and children's literature. And we're having a look at um, chapter number one, which is entitled um, Achieving a Balanced View of Reading. When you have a look at the reading, you'll notice that it focused primarily on teaching children how to read. And they talk about a thing called a bottoms up approach versus a top down approach. Um, they break it down for you where they have a look at this, the idea of this bottom up approach being where you look at these kinds of things um, in isolation. So it's got a heavy emphasis on word recognition. Um, we're really teaching kids about how to decode from a, um, individual letter sound combination. Um, it's going really back to those, um, I've seen prep teachers do it um, time and time again with worksheets with A is for apple, B is for ball, looking at a letter a week and focusing on the sound and um, talking about um, words that that sound can make and making posters to do with that. Um, so it's all focusing on phonemic awareness. There's a lot of um, connection to sight words. So children might have Oxford words or meow words where they learn words in isolation from a poster um, that they um, maybe get tested by the teacher and the teacher signs them off that they know certain sight words and move on to harder words, 100 most used words, 200 most used words and etc. Um, so we're talking about alphabetic letter recognition. So overall, we're talking about the fact that students are learning letter sounds in, in isolation. They're learning words in isolation, but they're doing it in a way that breaks it down um, to the individual sounds. They're talking about that relationship between that grapheme phoneme relationship and getting kids to really understand um, how each letter makes sounds and how they can make them in different combinations. As opposed to, that should say, um, um, the top up, the top down approach, which focuses more on whole language. So we're talking about not looking at words in isolation, not looking at letter sounds in isolation, but looking at them in terms of a whole entire text or an entire story. So we're looking at something more like a sort of guided reading approach where you would have a whole text and the, and the kids can use other things that they know to aid their reading and aid their understanding, which is why a whole language approach is quite popular. They're going to be reading words in the context of the text. They're going to use, be using the text as support so that you can use um, different cues such as pictures and headings and other things that you can see within the text. You're going to be using your prior knowledge and that's going to give you um, some sort of basis for where um, the text might be heading and it might be, give you a better chance to predict um, unknown words. Um, and you're also going to um, connect that to what the reader does and what the reader brings to the text and how that's all very important. So within the reading, it says that, um, you know, there's not one right or wrong answer here. So whether you wanted to do that bottom up approach or top down approach, I think the main idea from the reading was is that um, we need to provide kids lots of opportunities to do both. I have seen kids absolutely excel on different phonics programs. Um, I've seen kids excel on those meow words. I've seen kids excel on learning individual letter sounds. And for some kids, it will work brilliantly and other kids, it won't. So what, 
what can we do in terms of supporting students in their learning? So we can know that students don't all learn the same way, so we need to differentiate for them. If you are providing um, a balance of the two, you're ensuring that the kids that do like to learn from that um, bottom up approach will get those individual um, sounds and letter work that suits them. But also if you're providing them that whole language approach where you're looking at text as a whole and you're seeing where words um, come into a story and how you draw meaning from that and how that aids with your comprehension, then that's also going to help those students who prefer that kind of learning and like to see the context behind the words. So I've written here, a marriage of the two will ensure that all students are being exposed to both ways of teaching. Using a balanced approach means that kids have the chance to use both systems. Um, I suppose with teaching, you'll know that providing lots of different ways to learn is going to be the best way. So this can also be reflected back into your assignment. So when you're doing your unit evaluation, um, if you choose to do that one for A1A, there's lots of different pedagogical strategies that you could use in there that might suit either the whole language approach or that more phonics space approach. Um, if you're a value, uh, sorry, if you're writing your own unit, you're going to consider some of these ideas about how you present um, reading within your unit. We also are having a look at the Australian curriculum and I'm going to hop into that right now. Um, and it talks, you're probably wondering why we're talking about balance this week and what that has to do with the Australian curriculum. So if you haven't had much to do with this yet, um, have a look at the different strands and how they relate to different parts of literacy learning. And I think the overall message is with the Australian curriculum is that the language literacy and literature strand work together to provide that balanced approach so that you are covering the different depths of language and how grammar works and punctuations and language in different social situations. And then you're also looking at different parts of literacy as well as different elements of different literature and different styles of writing and styles of writing over time and different cultures. So you're covering lots of different aspects of literacy all coming together um, to provide a balanced approach that's hopefully meeting the kids of all the, meeting the needs of all the kids in your grade.